Hey guys, it's a little after 7 o'clock on Monday, February 22nd. I'm headed to the Page, Arizona area. Um, it's about a seven hour drive, so I gotta get going. See you there. Bye. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. thing was beeping I don't even know if I was recording that whole time so let's figure this out well hi it's getting dang near five I'm a lot more into the canyon than I expected to be uh, cottonwood wash um, this is a really cool site um, I just don't like there's electrical lines going through there I don't know if that will screw with my uh, Thing. but yeah look at this is super cool but then again there's another set of power lines I don't know if you can tell but they run here and then behind there and then back there and I don't know that's just I don't I don't really like being in between power lines it's not that big of a deal but also, this site is the only site listed on the app that I use. So there could possibly be people driving through. It only looks like just this one site. Other than if someone wanted to, because they're an asshole, could park. I doubt a big RV would come down here, but I mean, they could park on this main road thing here hmm. I mean I totally want to be alone uh, there's this other site so I came in from this way so that way is Page Arizona probably at least 20 miles well not quite um, and then this way is the end of the canyon and there's a cool spot like on top kind of looking down it's really cool it's a really cool area and I felt good there and no one like it's there's only room for one I mean there's room for several vehicles but if I spread things out no one would go up there no one's gonna camp there that's for sure um, but then again, there's nothing like that. This would make a cool time lapse. The moon is up there and it should come, you know, and shine on that. So that would make a frickin' cool night time lapse. Um, but is it worth, is it worth it? Just for that reason?
actually I am protected more right here and I also I'm kind of crunching on time I mean it's almost five I don't know I just oh, I wish the power lines weren't here or they were both on the one side I don't know if the drone will act weird around here or something. I don't know. Is it worth this castle thing? I mean, that is pretty cool. Maybe I should just set up here tonight. And figure something else out tomorrow. I mean, I wasn't planning to come back into this canyon today anyway. I accidentally stopped that video, but I can make a simple setup tonight, not drag everything out, and then it's just the other side is a few miles up the road, and if I, it's more exposed, so Wednesday it's supposed to be windy. I'd get more wind. Also here, I can easily set up a tarp because there's trees everywhere. But I just felt so good at that one site. Could be colder up there too. It's a few hundred feet higher at least. Like it's kind of, it might even be as high as these things. Okay, well I gotta figure this out. Ah. Bye. Oh, my hands. Okay, I think I've decided that I'm going to go to the other site. It's 448. I should be there within 15 minutes. I'll go look at it again. If I think no, I'll just come back and deal with it. The sun here is going to be out for maybe 20 to 30 more minutes. Um, but then it won't set for another hour so okay I'm I'm just gonna do it because I can't decide that's so stupid but I would really like this site if it didn't have those stupid power lines so I better get going okay bye Okay, that took me not even 10 minutes. So here's this other site, and I don't think I'm gonna camp here. I think I'll go to that other site, even though it has those stupid power lines. It's a really cool site. There's a cool hike I could take right down there. It's really pretty, but I'm gonna lose sun right now if I stay here. But I'll probably get sun earlier oh my god maybe I should just stay here it's just so much it's way more open um, but I could like put my kitchen there or something and my tent here somewhere that's kind of or maybe my kit I don't know Okay, um, shite. My thing is not recording, it's just turning off when it wants to, so I just gotta figure this out, so I'll talk later. Okay, I've made up my mind, I'm gonna stay here. Yeah! At least for tonight. Um, yeah, there's not really much I can time lapse, but that's okay. Um, the sun's already down. So the sun will be down at the other site in a matter of minutes. Probably 20 at the most. But uh, I did notice 
there's an anthill here I don't know they might still be sleeping not that I would put my tent right there but um, I was gonna put something here um yeah but this site I mean there's just so much more dimension to it you know it just goes down into this canyon and it's colorful it's pretty it doesn't have power lines going through it I mean that other site I mean they were just too close I could kind of hear it when I turned out the car um, and I don't know if you can see but in the distance that's where the power lines are but yeah just so much more dimension so I got to set up I'm gonna do that I got the tent set up. I'm just letting the um, mattress fully inflate. But I just wanted to show the last of the sunset against the mountains here. It's really pretty. Beautiful orange glow. The moon is much brighter. Glad I stayed here. These rocks are pretty cool up there, especially in that sunlight gorge. Well, all right, like I said a bit ago. I'm just waiting for that uh, air mattress to fully inflate as it's self inflating. Um, and then I'll put my sleeping bag and everything in there. And get that done. And then possibly put my thermals on. It's not too bad, but uh, I'd rather be warm than cold. And then I don't know, I might need to do something with the fire pit or at least for tonight, maybe use my uh, uh, pop-up pit. Uh, yeah, because this one... I mean, it's... I can use it. It's just built on ash. I guess a lot of people camp here. <laughs> this must be one of the more popular sites, I guess. Because the other sites didn't have a lot of ash at all. Is this recording? Yes. I was also going to mention um, I drove back here. I probably turned onto Cottonwood Wash Road at about 2.30 and got to this site for the second time at five so I drove around for two and a half hours it's a very decent road um, it's partially graveled in areas and then just dirt um, it's not a good road to drive when it's wet so
hear all those birds? I don't see them, but they're coming. Oh, there they are. What are they talking about? Hi guys. Huh, that was cool. Well, those might be scrub jays. They look blue. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna close the valves on my air mattress and get the sleeping bag in there and pillow and my stuff for tomorrow all right so I'm all set up for night night and I've got my camera set up over there there's a time lapse right there and then my regular camera pointed that way into the valley so that's all set up I've decided I'm gonna set up my pop-up pit because this is actually I don't know at least a foot tall of just ash so I think at some point I'll redo this um, I was shocked today that no one else was camping here, so um, I might want to go film everything, everything I can tomorrow, which will probably take a couple hours. Um, just depends on how lazy I am. I've had a long day. I got up at, what, 4.30? Oh, see my stomach. Got up at like 4.30, left at 7. No, I got up closer to 5. Anyway, and then I was just driving all day. It takes about 7 hours to get to Page from Santa Fe. And then you got to stop and get gas. So that's almost an extra hour. Okay, so I left at 7. And got to page at two, I think. So, whatever that number is, I ain't gonna do math in my head right now. Sharp. But yeah, so I'm gonna set up the pop up pit, get that going, because it is a little chilly, and then I should put my thermals on. It's probably 40 degrees or something. I know, so that's north. And I know it's much colder there. And I that's where the breeze is coming from. So, yeah. Pop-up pit. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Somewhere around here. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Oh, check out this new, oh, I'll show you in a bit. This uh, new table here, pretty nice. I can cook on it, on that part. And then what is really helpful is that shelf down there. And then there's four of these that fold out. So that's the new addition to Camp Kitchen. Well, hey, uh, it has gotten really cold. So, yeah, like, it's freezing, literally. Well, now it says 31. It's cold. 
way colder than I expected. <laughs> so there are options. I can stay here for a week. You know, I, my deal was to stay in one spot for at least three nights type of thing. And uh, it's just way colder than it than it was uh, where I was looking at Big Water. I'm probably closer north. So it's probably eight something. Um, yeah, I want to stop videoing because I'm really cold. And I do have more layers and everything. I just wasn't expecting it to get this cold. It's <laughs> super weird. So, bummer, but... Oh, but... I was going to say there... Excuse me. There are <clears throat> options. Like, I can obviously stay here tonight and tomorrow. And tomorrow... Uh, during the day, I'll just film hardcore, you know, spend three to five hours filming this area because it's really cool. And then staying here. Um, and then leaving. Or just stay here this week and deal with it. Because I do have proper under layers and everything. Um, it's just that I didn't expect it to make so, that's my story.